Can I help you, sir? Uh, yeah, I'm just following up on some ADA uh, complaints that were filed a few weeks ago. Okay. Uh, how were those? How were they filed? Did you actually send in paperwork, or did you come in and file? Uh, no, it was uh, over the phone. You have to you have to physically file a motion yourself, and you have you're acting as your own attorney, so you have to know how to fill it out yourself. For what kind of complaint are you talking about? For whatever complaint you're trying to file. Uh, you know, different complaints have different complaint processes. I mean, if you're trying to file a suit, you have to know the proper paperwork yourself, unless you're going through an attorney. To file. Right. Yeah, it's not a suit. It's a Americans with Disabilities Act complaint, and they can be filed orally uh, on the phone, in person, in you know handwriting. Who did you on, file it with? Via the computer. Uh, the clerk of court there in Lee County. I think uh, her name may start with a B. I can't remember right now. I have to go back and listen to the recording. I mean, I checked with our civil department, and nothing has been filed. Okay. Uh, well, maybe you can file it uh, since she has not done that. Yeah. Have, I mean, have you have to. Duties. Did you properly say you were filing a complaint? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And we have, and we have audio recording. Did you get a case page. number or anything? Nope. Can we have to have paperwork? I mean, if you don't turn in paperwork, there's no way we can start a file. No, that's the, that's how uh, that's not true. If the Americans with Disabilities Act, do you know what the Americans with Disabilities Act is? It's a federal law. Yes, sir, I do. Okay, so any, anybody can make an ADA complaint uh, to any organization, and if you guys are at the I know you, the AOC is, is a state-run thing, but at the county level, you have administrators there. You actually have um, two people on staff as your disability coordinators. Right, that's one of correct. Those, one of those disability coordinators is who we filed a complaint with orally on the phone. And so I'm checking mm -hmm. up on, on what she's done and, and where it is in the process. But if you're telling me that you have nothing, nothing on file, I mean, then that's... And that's Nothing's been not done because nothing complaint. was filed. Right. So that's a failure on her part as the disability coordinator. So she is she is in there. I mean, we have to have paperwork in order for the ADA. It to be right. And that's that's on you guys to write that down and file that paperwork. Specifically, whoever's assigned to the position of the ADA coordinator. And it's one of those ladies that uh that Did I think you get on name and address address and information. I'm sorry, what? We have to have a name and address and everything, or at least a name, um, dates and everything for. Hello. Right now? Yeah, I'm still here. You need right now? So did you give a name and information? Yeah, we provided information. Did you give a name? A name. We for have what? to have at least have a name to file That's a. That's not true either. To file for, paperwork for like that. Place. No, that's not true. It, it doesn't sound like you're. Uh, I mean, you're we have to have a name in order for anything to be filed. Are you, are you one of the uh, disability coordinators or not? Yes, I am. Oh, what's your name? Miss Beasley. Beasley. All right, was it you? I don't. It didn't sound like it was you. So maybe it was the other one. What's the uh, the secondary? Are you the primary or the secondary? We're, we both handle it. Okay, and, and who's the other lady? Did you give a name so we could at least start that way? What do you mean? I mean, how can we? How can we? How can you file a grievance without a name? Anybody can file a grievance anonymously. If, if anybody witnesses uh, a violation or discrimination against somebody that's disabled, you don't have to provide a name. You can simply say, "Hey, I witnessed this discrimination committed by uh, your employees." Have you employee. read the grievance process through AOC? It's done through AOC. It's actually not done through us. Right. Don't you don't you work for the AOC? We do, but that's done through Raleigh. Okay. You have to file right. agreements through them. And I think we gave you the address to so, to start so that process. You work for the AOC and you're the disability coordinator there at the Lee County Courthouse. Is that correct? Right. In the process you have to start through AOC. 
That's what the grievance process is for the administrative office of the court. Right. That's what we're doing right now. That's what we did last time, okay. a few weeks ago. We took, we spoke so to you. You should have uh, a contact person through AOC in Raleigh. That's who you need to contact to find out how the grievance process is going. Right. That's on you guys, since you you guys are at the level where the uh, complaint originated. So that's that's on you guys to follow through. That's your right. whole position. They have not contacted us regarding that yet. So you would need to start with them, um, and I can give you a. Uh, I can give you a number to call, and I can give you the adri address again, and they can tell you where the how the where the process is with them. So, who's the, the other uh, disability coordinator you guys have there? I mean that. I mean that doesn't matter. You have to go through AOC in order to start the grievance program. Well, I'm, just, I'm just curious. So you, you said you're you're Beasley. Who's the other uh, disability coordinator that you guys have on staff? AOC and Raleigh can help you with all that. So you, you don't want to be helpful right now? It's a simple question. You, you say there's only two of you. you. You know who she is. I'm just trying to get her name. Miss Bell. Bell, okay. Yeah, I think that's right. So it sounds like you're doing the same thing that she did and that you're refusing to process a complaint. And that's your position as a disability coordinator is to process Right, but complaint. if you look on the website, the way to start the procedure, the grievance procedure, is to start through AOC, and then they take right. it from there. You are you are a staff member of the AOC assigned to Lee County as the disability coordinator. So that's what we're doing. We're doing it through you, uh, and right. asking so you to, to act in your capacity as a disability to coordinator to, to process the complaint and pass it on Raleigh to Raleigh through administrative office of the court. But that's not actually doing any work. That's deferring the work back to the disabled mm -hmm. population rather than than doing what you've been appointed to do in your capacity I'm just as going a disability coordinator. by the policies and procedures that they have given us. So what do you do as a disability coordinator? How do you help the disabled population? That's what I'm doing now. I'm telling you how to start the grievance process. It is done through AOC, Administrative Office of the Courts in Raleigh. Okay, so at this point, you're not willing to, to help process a complaint. That's because it's done through AOC in Raleigh. Right, and and which you're a member of, you you work for the AOC, right? Right, that is correct. I have pulled okay. up the policies and procedures, and that is what it tells me to do. Okay, so will you assist okay. me, a disabled person, in following that complaint with the AOC? I will give you the phone number and the address, and they will tell you what to do from there. So that is what my policy words, no, procedure not, is telling me to do. Okay. Can Can you send me a copy of that procedure as a records request, please? Um, you, I can give you the information over the phone. We gave it to you the other day, so you should have it. I'm sorry. Say that again. I think she gave it to you the other day, so you should have it on file. A copy of your guys' policy? No, a copy of the address to get the grievance procedure started and the phone oh, number. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, you said you're looking at your policy and procedure for, for doing that. That's what I'm asking for is that document that you say you're looking at that you're referencing? I want a copy of I that. I can give you a, the information over request. the phone and you contact them and they can take it over from there. No, no, not right now. I mean, I understand what you're saying about the complaint. Right now I want to do a records request for that document, for your policy and procedure for the grievance process. I mean, you can go online to AOC website and search it. Oh, I can't. No, I don't have access to do that. So, can you send that the to NC an, Courts e website. an email address? Um, so, how did you get our phone number then? What's that? How did you get the clerk of court's phone number? I have it. I mean, how did you search that? I mean, how were you able to get our phone number? Oh, somebody gave it to me. Okay, then someone can help you online to find this information out also. The same person no, can help you that's, do that. that. That's your job as, as a public uh, employee is to receive a records request. It's state law as far as the North Carolina Opens Records Act. It's GS-132, so it's General Statute 132. You're saying that you have a record there that you're looking at, you're referencing as a document for your policy and procedure on, on grievances for the ADA, and all I'm asking is for you to send me that policy 
that you're referencing as a record, as a public record that you say you have easy access to, it should be simple for you to, to process the request and send it to me via an email. I can mail you a copy. Uh, no, ask him for it via email because I can't I can't see uh, or read the physical copy. Okay, so how are you going to read it on an email then? With a screen reader, the device or an okay, application. So you couldn't use that to view a, a piece of paper through the mail. Correct. Okay. I um I'm not it able like to send this. I can't. Okay. Scan it and email it to you. I mean, I'll be glad to. If you have Ooh, someone okay. there, I can give them the information if they want to write it down for you. So you can you can uh, receive the records request and pass it on to whoever handles your records request there at that uh, at the county's courthouse, right? So you want to mail us a request and we'll send it to you? No, I'm I'm, I'm doing the request right now orally to you on the phone. Okay, if you'll give me your name and address, I'll be glad to mail you a copy out. Okay, the address is, are you ready? Yes. Okay, the address is insightisfree at gmail.com. No, I mean the physical mailing address. Oh, no, I, I want it digitally uh, because you're saying it's a digital record and I don't need you to spend money and paper and, and any stamps or anything like that. So you say you have access to it digitally, so I'd, I'd like it in a digital format sent to me via email, which is uh, what the record laws. I don't have a scanner to do that. I can I can make you a copy and mail it to you. All right. You don't. Yeah. You don't need a scanner. You say you have it in a digital format. All you have to do is send it. If you can print, you're saying you can print. You can print the PDF. You can print your file to a document, and then send that document in an email. But again, you're not the one that necessarily has to fulfill the request. You just have to accept the request and then send it to whoever at the Lee County Courthouse is, is over. Public records request. Okay, I can mail you a physical copy of it. All right, I don't think you're listening. I, I don't, can you, is there the other disability coordinator there? Because I don't think you understand that I can't see to read the physical mail. So I can have an audio device read me the digital email that you send me, which is what I'm requesting. Hey, do you want, do you want to record me giving you the address then? Address for what? To mail the grievance. No, we're not talking about the grievance. We're talking about a, a records request. I mean, I can I can print a copy and mail it to you. That that's not uh, acceptable. So I'm asking for you to. Do you have a the, friend or family the, member I could send it to so they could help you with it? You're trying. I don't understand how you're the disability coordinator. Have you had any training in the ADA on how to coordinate uh, assistance for people with disabilities? Uh, yes, I have. Okay. So then, then you know that you and can I'm, provide I'm, things in I'm just going, I'm just going format. by what our, our clerk tells us that we would have to mail it to you. Okay. So then, then you, as it's your job as the coordinator for disability to, to tell the clerk that you have to make an accommodation for communication, for effective communication. That's part of the ADA. Like if somebody can't communicate in a format that is your standard procedure, you're saying it's physical mail. I'm saying I can't communicate in that format. Then it's your job as the disability coordinator to instruct the clerk that, oh, we need to send it in a, in a way that they can communicate. In this case, it's an email. And you don't even have to cite the ADA for that. That's just simply the North Carolina records law. Can you hold on just a moment? Sure. Okay, our head clerk is the only one that has a scanner, and she said that she would um, scan it and email it to me. It's to you if you could give us your email address. Okay. Uh, when you scan that, would you save it as a text PDF? I don't know what that is. Uh, so when you save a, a PDF, uh, you know, you can choose to save it as a JPEG or as an image file or as a text file. And if you send me an image file, my text, my, my screen reader, my device will just simply read image. You know, you can send me a 300-page document, and all, and all it will say is image. But if you save it as a text file, then it will have all the text available in the document, 
that my screen reader can read, you know, all 300 pages of it or whatever it is. So uh, please make so sure that you... So it's just a couple pages. Okay, yeah. Just, just make sure that you save it as a text file PDF when you do the scanning. Uh, or you can simply print the file and you don't have to print it out and then scan it. You can do that all digitally. You don't have to worry about wasting any paper. That's another way of doing that. When you print the file, you can choose the PDF and choose what type of file and choose text file rather than image file. And that way you're saving paper, you're not, you know, you're not spending money on, on that expense or the use of the scanner. Does that make sense? Okay, what's, okay. what's the email address? Okay, the email address is insight is free at gmail.com. N C S I G H T? No, insight, um, you know, like, like inner knowledge, so I N S I G H T. I N S I G H T? Yep, I N S I G H T is, so I S and then free, F R E E. Insight is free at gmail.com. Let me just read that back to you one more time, okay? Yes. I N S I G H T I S F R E E at gmail dot com. That's it, you got it. Okay. Just wanted to make sure we'll get it to you as soon as we can, okay? Okay. Yeah, if you want to include in that um the number or if it's already on the that Policy, yeah, it'll be policy. on there. Yeah, it's okay. on there. It's on there. All right, yeah. Well, hopefully, you know, I can address with them that, you know, this, this phone call is very enlightening, showing that, you know, your guys' lack of, of training, uh, that you kept insisting to send it in the mail, physical mail, when I've repeatedly told you that I, I can't see that, I can't read it, and that way it wouldn't be in accessible format. And that's that's your role as a disability coordinator is to, to recognize that and to figure out a way to accommodate a uh, person with disabilities such as myself to get the information in a format that's effective for effective communication. That's okay. that's basic I'm gonna ADA let training. You go so, okay, I'm going to let okay. you go so we can get this to you, okay? All right. Thank you, Ms. Beasley. All right. All right. Thank you. Have a good afternoon. Okay.